Under the right circumstance and when the right opportunity presents itself, these opportunistic bacteria can really wreak havoc on our health. But remember this, within our gut, we have three classes of gut bacteria. We have the bad bacteria, which again, most of us have heard of. These are things like H. pylori and E. coli and Salmonella and C. diff. We have commensal bacteria or keystone bacteria. These are the bacteria that we want to see in our gut. We expect to see them as part of our microbiome. These are considered the good bacteria. And lastly, we have opportunistic bacteria. Opportunistic bacteria are things like Klebsiella, Morganella, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus, and Streptococcus. Again, these opportunistic bacteria, these are often found in the gut microbiome, but keep in mind that they're at such low levels that they don't really usually cause a problem. But under the right circumstance and when the right opportunity presents itself, these opportunistic bacteria can really wreak havoc on our health. But there are a few scenarios that cause major shifts in our microbiome that set us up for this histamine intolerance and this bloating and this abdominal pain. Maybe you took antibiotics or you went on a sugar binge, or let's say you started taking birth control pills, or you consume alcohol on a regular basis. And in many patients with histamine intolerance, this is exactly what we see on their stool testing. And it's the reason why the bloating and the abdominal pain is there. Either you have too many histamine producing bacteria, or you don't have enough histamine degrading bacteria. So again, it's about that balance. 